work midnight, and Americans donate a lot of money to charity, and 60% of family have internet access at home. Half of Americans are on Facebook. 26% of Americans go online banking. Number one search word, how to kiss. 20% of homes use a cell phone only. 70% of homes have traditional landline. You want to have video job game, go to California. Americans send 1.5 trillion text messages a year. Half of Americans read online news. Americans 5'9", average height. Female 5'4", average height. Many Americans have heart-related diseases, 26%. Uh, and that's the number one cause of death in the U.S. And uh, Americans also have, uh, 5 million have Alzheimer's disease, 22% of arthritis. Americans eat 60 pounds of chicken a year, 14 pounds of ice cream a year. 3% uh, of Americans are vegetarians. And Americans only sleep 6.7 hours a day. Most of the men in prison are male. 3% uh, are in jail of Americans. 75% of students cheated. And only 39% said they've never cheated on their spouse or lied to their friends. Uh, 16 million people use marijuana. And it's increasing because in some states you have legal use, uh, recreational and legal medicinal use of marijuana. Americans spend a lot of money on prescription drugs. There's strict laws on smoking, not like in other countries. You can smoke at any age. And it's 70 million and all kinds of people of all colors smoke. You must be 21 years old to drink alcohol. And 42% of Americans indulge in drinking. And American, uh, 10 to 33% of married Americans have cheated on their sexual partners. 24% of Americans believe in extraterrestrials. 21% of Americans believe that they can communicate with the dead. 7% of Americans have some psychological problems. One of 5,000 Americans get perfect score in the SAT exam. 43% of Americans go to a church or temple or a synagogue at least once a month. 11% uh, of Americans are willing to have brain implants so that they can have access 24-7. 34% of Americans wear traditional business attire, but 41% uh, wear traditional clothes. 39% of women wear high heels every day. During recession, New Yorkers wear long dresses. Uh, Americans eat more takeout food in their cars and favorite junk food, hamburger, french fries. Americans do a lot of volunteer work, uh, especially in the Midwest and in Alaska, and Americans do a lot of sports. And 11 million Americans are digital readers, and they buy three e-books a month, and two hard copy books a month. And complaints of men about women, too much baggage. They get too serious too fast. Women's complaints about men, they don't know how to find men. And the highest median income, Asian households in the U.S. Uh, women earn only 77% of what men earn. There's still inequality. 14.3% are in poverty. And the poorest give more to charity. And there's a lot of fat people in the U.S. 30% of Americans believe houses are haunted. 25% believe in astrology. And 21% believe that there are witches. And American men will not date women who throw garbage everywhere and don't recycle. <laughs> Americans think it's better to be rich than to be thinner. But American women think it's better to be thinner. Uh, Americans are very hospitable, but only by appointment. Americans are very protective of their privacy. Americans are very informal. You have professors who wear blue jeans, short sleeve shirts, and want you to call them Mary or John. Umbrella is only for rain. Eye contact is polite. Staring is rude. You need to have firm handshake. And informal handshake comes in all different forms. Don't touch people, they'll get mad. <laughs> Respect personal space. Don't sit beside somebody if there are other available seats. Stay as far away as, uh, from other people in the elevator. Don't use a cell phone when you are with your friend. You must open your gift in front of the giver. Americans trust the military more than the Congress. 
Americans don't have the long life. Uh, we have longer lives in Macau, Andorra, Japan, and Singapore. Richer people are in Liechtenstein, Qatar, Luxembourg, Bermuda, and Norway than comes the US. Americans are only the fifth in internet use, but have the most number of cars in the whole world. It's not illegal to make fun of politicians in the US. Important words, hello, please, thanks, and goodbye. Don't talk about religion, politics, or sex. When people ask you how are you, don't tell them your problems, they don't care, and they will even be laughing at you inside of them. Just say you're fine even if you're not fine. <laughs> yes means yes. Uh, when you say yes, no, don't shake your head. Americans will not understand it. No means no. In other countries, you don't use the word no, you, mean, you say yes to, to mean no. Let's have lunch means you pay for your own lunch. Really? Translation? Of course not. Good job. Translation? It's okay. Awesome. Translation? That's alright. That's interesting. Translation? It's not interesting. I welcome challenges. Translation? This job sucks big time. You should go for training. Translation? You're dumb. Maybe I can work late. Translation? What? You think I don't have a life? I was not involved in that project. Translation, that's your problem. Deal with it. I'll do my best to fit that into my work schedule. Translation, why didn't you tell me sooner? I have too much work today. Translation, I'm not even paid it well enough. Deadly words that women use. Fine. Translation, shut up. Nothing. Translation, shame on you. Go ahead. I dare you. Don't go ahead. Whatever, translation, go to hell. That's okay, translation, you'll pay for your mistake. Wow, translation, you're so dumb. <laughs> okay, deadly words that men use. It's not you, it's me. Translation, I want to break up with you. I'll call you. Men mean they don't want to call you. I've been busy, you called the man, and the man was caught, not calling, and said, oh, uh, I've been busy. Great, You've been, the woman had been talking for 10 hours, the man just says, great, and I wasn't listening. Yes, because the woman kept on talking, it means shut up already. I'm not looking for a relationship, men mean that, when men say that, it's serious. I love you, men don't mean it, they know women want to hear it. Stop nagging now. He is really angry. You will only say that when it's last resort. Okay, it's illegal to threaten anyone. Call the police if you're being threatened. It's illegal to hurt anyone. Call the police if there's actual bodily injury. It's illegal to hurt anyone at all. So in conclusion, don't say my culture is best. Don't say your culture is best. Rather say there are good things and bad things in my culture and in your culture. And when you go home, don't go on and on, talk about the US, don't pretend you're an American, don't think you're better than others, don't be arrogant, don't have a blanket hatred of the US, uh, don't be sexist, racist, homophobic, chauvinistic, practice any form of discrimination, you have to be open-minded, eat healthy while you're at NIU.edu, drink a lot of water, like Paul Ryan did, exercise a lot, Learn about the U.S. while you're in the U.S. Be informed, read papers. Respect everyone, male, female, young, old, gay or straight. Don't get into trouble. Don't fall off in your studies while you're here. Study very hard, click on your mouse and make sure you're doing your homework right. Face your textbook first before going to Facebook. Graduate. Invest in a little black dress if you're a woman for the interview. For a man, invest in a black suit for your interview. Get a job. Enjoy Chicago during the weekend. Thank you. There's still tables around. Please go visit. Uh, they will give you some brochures, leaflets, leave your phone number. And if you want them to contact you, there's some freebies there I can see. Many brown bags here and there. Go, go meet some new people who could help you. Thank you so much. Or should I just hand them out? Thank you so much for that. They're really great resources.
شوف هذول في اخراج شيء 